Okay, so you're gonna have her lay with the hip that you're gonna adjust on top, and you wanna get about a 90 degree angle here at hip, in hip flexion. Um, you're gonna find the greater trochanter. I like to put my thumb in the back of it so I know I'm hitting the right spot. And you bisect the 90 degree at about a 45. I'm putting top spin on it, trying to get the ball to flip deeper into the socket because it's sitting a little too far forward at the moment. Um, so I'll hold the end. I get permission to hit them. Yes. And then I'm going to hit in a glancing blow across like that um, to try to get a quick adjustment. I think I got it with that one. Uh, but sometimes I'll repeat it if I'm not sure I got it. So go ahead and roll to your back. So I'm going to double check that things look different. Sure. Lay flat. Okay. Yep. And then um, that's way better. So okay. can I come to the head end here to show my hands are even now compared to where they were before? Um, I should see immediately improved strength in the hip external rotation. So just from here, don't let me pull your ankle out. So hold that. So she can actually put some force into it now. It's significantly stronger. And then I should also notice that the tracking here is better. And then when I do the knee bend up to the head, it, it's still going out some, but mm -hmm. it's not as quite as severe as it was. Okay. So I'm not sure what yeah. that's about. Um, so then lastly, the muscle energy technique I'll do if I don't get all of the things off and I'm like, huh, I'm not sure it needs to be manipulated. It's just a little bit off. I might bring her here put my arm in here and scoop the hip to try to get it down deeper into the socket and have her engage her hip external rotators by pushing out into me. So you're going to go like this. Okay. So let me scoop you first. I'm scooping the ball down deep into the socket. Okay, then give me a little bit of a push. There you go. So she's trying to use her hip rotators and relax. And then I'll scoop a little bit more. Sometimes I'll kind of feel where the joint's having trouble going, like right around there, she's having trouble scooping, so I'm gonna scoop her back and then push out. So getting her to use her hip rotators in the position of the ball being lined up correctly. Okay, and relax. And then I'm gonna scoop her some more and try again. About a five second hold and relax. And I'll repeat it three to five times. So that was three, and she's pretty loose jointed, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> so just the hair. Just that. And then that, now you're tracking a little, it still wants to go out mm -hmm. some, but let's still. It's a scintillating video. I'll have to Isn't post it? it on Facebook. There you go. So we're getting better and better tracking in the hip there. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Cool.